uh, Sergeant Wolf and somebody else basically told me, um, they came to the station and said, um, that the psychos were involved. I'm tired of people getting hurt around me because of something I didn't do. Bailey is still gone. She's missing. <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't understand. Listen, I need to tell you something. I, I can't, I can't, I can't keep this from you anymore. And I don't care if you hate me after you hear this. I just want this to be over. So, uh, there's five topic points today. Okay. Did you hear anything about Bailey, first of all? Uh, no. She's missing. She what? has been now for five days. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll get in- I'll- I'll talk to you privately on that. Um, so this is Bailey. Um, yeah. alright, that's not in Simmons done. Um, Bailey. Uh, that's something I want to talk privately to on about though because it's not yeah. there's nothing we really can talk about here but it's it's more of a private matter no definitely <sighs> all right you want to go on a walk chief yeah let's do that thank you thank you manning right, i appreciate so, you good luck yep. manning sorry <laughs> she thanks so much for being on engine duty today Fuck yeah so much for being on ladder yeah right ladder one <laughs> Well, if there is a big call, I'm trying to find you guys. Thank you. All right. Um, that side, yeah. Yeah, um, apparently Knight was kidnapped also on the day of... So, um, I don't fucking know. Day what? Sorry. Knight was, or Knight was kidnapped with... On the same name, Bailey was kidnapped. I assume she was kidnapped anyways. <sighs> okay. That is. Um, know. yeah, let's go over here. Outside of prying eyes. How have you been anyway? Pretty shitty with all this stuff going on, but... Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, God, why do you do that? What? Alright, um... You're gonna hate me, but... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <sighs> as long as you're away from the fire department's, uh... It's just, Station. it's helping with my nerves. I, I I quit a long time ago, as you know, but I'm just kind of... Yeah. I need it right now. I'm, I'll, I'll yeah. quit. I'll quit again. I just need it right now. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, so, I think it was Friday or Saturday? I, uh, no, Sunday. No. Fuck, I don't remember what day she was kidnapped now. I can remember... Sunday, it was Sunday. Um... I usually don't go on shift on Sunday, that's why I'm confused. Yeah. Um, I was- I got a call from Bailey saying, Hey, I'm gonna be on shift in 30 minutes, and, you know, we, we gotta talk. There's something important that I gotta discuss with you about. That's what she said. Something about, basically, the psychos. Yeah. Um, so I said, alright, I'll see you then. 40 minutes rolled by, 50 minutes rolled by, and I was heading back from a call, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna stop by and see what's up, because she hasn't gone on to shift. I went to her apartment, and her door was open. Shit. And there was... Fuck you. I, I, I'm I glad you didn't get to see it, but there was just blood everywhere. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Um. So I called, obviously, police, and... Left. Just told them, update me, update me. I need to know, you know, where she is. Um, Tuesday, I asked for an update because I didn't get anything then, and I, you know, uh, Sergeant Wolf, and, um, that, uh, Medicaid. Sergeant Wolf and somebody else basically told me, um, they came to the station and said, um, that the psychos were involved. <sighs> and that frustrated me, you know, I, I mean... I even, like, it frustrated to no end because, you know, I'm stressed out. I Now I know that it's the psychos. I'm going to blame myself, you know, or, or somebody. We're going to blame ourselves for that. 
And I even got so frustrated that I clenched my fist into a ball from the stress. And apparently Petey took that as me being aggressive. Don't know how, don't know why, but um, Gavin talked to me later about it and I questioned why they didn't see that as a stressful, you know, response rather than aggressive. I don't know. They thought I was being aggressive. And you know me, I'm very... I'm not aggressive. I'm not that kind of person. Yeah, because the deputy chief of the fire department is going to, like, punch a cop in the face because of something uh, that's... Apparently that's what they got from me, just clenching my fists in stress. I don't know. It doesn't matter. That's not Whatever. important. Um, but yeah, they told me it was the psychos. Or no, they told me it wasn't the psychos. I think it, they told me it wasn't the psychos. Wait, hold on a minute. No, they told me it was the psychos. So yeah. It, um... Later on, you know, I get a call from Gavin saying, hey, we need to talk. And he told me about the situation where they thought I was being aggressive, which, you know, I got that cleared up. And then uh, he called over Dimes, who's investigating this whole psychos thing. And then I was told, no, it's not the psychos. It's something completely different. So apparently Sergeant Wolf isn't even part of this investigation and he had information and told me that it was the psychos and that they're almost 100% confirmed on that. So not, not only did they give me misinformation that stressed me the fuck out for a few hours before Gavin came to tell me it wasn't. Um, but yeah, I just, it was frustrating that day. Um, Captain Dimes cleared everything with me. They said this was something irrelevant to the psychos, but they're still investigating them. But the psychos are being put on the back burner for now because obviously Bailey is still gone. She's missing. Yeah. And that's going to be priority. And I agree with them on that, obviously. Yeah, 100%. Um. Um, so I'm glad to know that it's not the psychos involved. At least I was told that. Uh, but my question is, who the fuck did it? Exactly. I mean, I know... Like, I don't, we don't know if her residence was declared an arson or an accident. Like, I'm still fuzzy on what the details of that were. Um, but I mean, Maria, like, yeah, the connection um, is Maria to yeah, me. Yeah, and I, I asked Gavin, why didn't she get jail time? And apparently they're using her to get information about the psychos. And once the psychos are brought up, or whoever is doing this texting bullshit with us, or any leftover psychos remaining once they're caught said that she would get her due time but right now she's cooperative and um you know they're not going to take her in oh so they've gone so wait i'm missing something here so she the the cops have been talking to her yeah maria was not even though she gave herself up about the torture of us she did not go to jail that day i okay wait hold on hold on on, back up wait she what Oh, you were gone during this too, weren't you? Yeah, I, yeah, I was out of town. Fuck. What the fuck happened. Okay. Um, basically, I got more text messages from this girl or guy. I don't know who. Um, this was maybe a week and a few days ago. I sent them a text and then I called them and they refused to pick up until I called them again and then they picked up but didn't say anything and I told them, "Look, the law is gonna find who you are." Uh, And then I ended the call, and not 15 minutes later, a girl named Maria shows up. I am going to tell you now, she was a spitting image of one of the people that took us two plus years ago. Yeah. Daughter of one of them. I don't remember which one. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's who we talked to about with Bailey. Yeah, about about, with Bailey, exactly. So we were right. We were right about our suspicions. And she, um, I took her aside. Uh, even though I probably should have called cops because I knew this was suspicious, but I took her aside because she looked really distraught. I talked to her, and she basically admitted to me completely that she was there for the torture torture of us. Um, she was there because she had to had to be. It was her way of making money for her mother or whatever the case may be. Um, but it was clear that she was very... Um, she regretted it. And I told her, look, if, if you truly... Basically, your main priority was Bailey. That's what she said. She doesn't want to lose Bailey. I said, if you don't want to lose Bailey, I think you need to tell the cops what you did. 
and get this off of your shoulders. And she agreed. So I called Captain Dimes over and she admitted to the cops what she did to us two plus years ago. And then she walked away from them. Didn't get put into handcuffs or anything. Um, so Maria is, you know, a past psycho. And current informant to LSPD. And, well, sort and of. Current, she's, yeah, well, I'm going to say she's an informant at this point. So, interesting point you made there is that she didn't want to lose Bailey. Bailey. Now, yeah. it could either be a lie or it could be sincere. If it's sincere, then she's not behind the kidnapping. If she's mm-hmm. lying, then she would be. Um, so later on, a few days later, I did talk to Bailey. And Bailey basically told me, and you gotta keep this yourself, apparently Maria... Mm-hmm. Um, Maria has feelings for Bailey. But I oh. think it's sincere. Okay, well, that... Wait, uh, who has... Hold on, I'm dyslexic, so I reversed that in my head. Who Maria? has feelings for... Okay. Maria has feelings for Bailey and told her. Got it, okay. I reversed that and thought the other way around, but... That would explain Bailey's problem with finding a good man. Um, yeah. <laughs> or, wow. Or keeping one. I'm sorry, it's just... She's, wow. Well, she's had some boyfriends who have just not been great to her. Yeah, 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 you're right. It's not her fault, though, but... Um, yeah. Okay, well, that does change the tune of who could be kidnapping her. Um, right. Um, yeah, but there is something that... Um, okay, sorry, I should have told you that beforehand. I, I thought you knew that. So, yeah, and then the Maria thing happened with me. Right. Um, and now Bailey is kidnapped, um... There is one thing she said when she called me on Sunday saying, hey, I got to go do something first and then I'll come on the shift. And that is to talk with a, a, a woman named Alona. Alona. Uh, Alona, I think. I don't know that name. Um, I think from from what I remember, I'm pretty sure she's Valentina's daughter. Oh, OK. Um. I don't know if Valentino knows this, but I did tell cops this. I said, hey, she, they, you know, she wanted to speak to this Alona person before getting off the call with me. So I don't know if they connected the dots. Yeah. Um, or it could be someone completely irrelevant. Same name. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's a... Well, I hope the police look into that because that's a good clue. I mean, if that's the last thing she said before she went missing, maybe that person knows something. Yeah, I hope they, um, yeah, I hope they're true. Well, well, now they've already stated, you know, continuing the timeline, now they say that the psychos are not even involved. Apparently, they got one of the suspects involved on Sunday, but that she's still missing. So I have no clue what's going on. I... The fact that she's okay. still missing terrifies me. Yeah. Um, I also... I, I need to explain that text message I sent you a couple days ago, too. <sighs> sorry, I need another one of these. I'm, 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 my nerves are shot. I'm sorry. Um, Bye. I, um... I got confronted by Bailey after shift. Um, about a week ago. Um, Maria basically spilled everything to Bailey about what happened to you and me regarding the psychos and, um, basically told her everything about why the psychos targeted me and how you were just collateral. You were just there to, you know, get at me or you were used to get at me rather. Um, and explained why, and explained my previous connections back home, and what I did back home. And Bailey kind of just came to me, I think, a little hopeful that this was all a lie, and that none of what was said was true, but I, I couldn't lie to her. Like, I couldn't tell her 
what I've been telling everyone else. I mean, you're, you're the only person here in America who knows about all of this. And I, I told her everything. I told her what I did. Um, and God, the last time I fucking saw her, she was devastated. And we parted ways with her just having to digest all of this. And I would, I don't know, like if she hates me, uh, or I don't know. I, I really don't know. And now she's gone and I don't know what happened. I, I, this is my fault. I think this is my fault. I, okay. Before you start blaming yourself, it's not your fault. Um, Bailey did tell me about that a little bit. She said that she knew, basically asked me, you know, why don't you tell me about you? As you told me a, a long time ago. Why did I tell Maria to go to the law when I didn't tell you to go to the law? You know, to make up for your own crimes. And I explained to her that that happened, what, 30 plus years ago to you. What Maria did was two years ago. What happened to you was out of a different country. What happened to Maria was here in this very state that we live in. And not to mention, like, I was fighting for a cause. I was fighting for my country, the freedom of it. And what I did was in what I was young. I, we were at war. That's what we thought. And and, and, and the worst part is, is I explained this to, to I explained this to Bailey that when the psychos did this to us they were given misinformation you heard them they they mm -hmm. talked about a family i never not a family i i i had specific three people there was no there was no collateral they had they they had the wrong information and i ex i explained that to everyone and i told her that and i they, this whole thing is because of misinformation they had the wrong info and they hurt, they hurt you, they hurt people around me. And God, freaking that leader, she got a gang together and she got all of them either killed or arrested over a, over a false, a falsity. It's, if she had just come to me and talked to me, I could have explained that I, whoever she's looking for, it wasn't me. No, there's, there was a lot of, there were a lot of agents in the IRA. They all behaved differently. It was chaos back then. I was trying to be the order in all of it. I was specific. I was surgical with what I was doing. Somebody else is responsible for what they are trying to find vengeance for, but it's not me. I'm not involved in that. But you need people, to tell Bailey that. You need to tell I Bailey did. that. I told her that. I did. I okay. just wish that whoever is doing this would know that. I'm tired of people getting hurt around me because of something I didn't fucking do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got hurt. I'm sorry Bailey's missing. I'm sorry everything around me just turns to dust and I can't do this. You can, we just need... We just need to talk to Bailey more. Okay? Bailey's someone who's compassionate, empathetic, and emotional. All she sees is that you might have killed someone. That's all she sees. I know, and, and I know she was just taking... I, I know in the back of my mind when we parted ways, I know that she was just... She was just taking time to digest things, and she was, you know... I, I know she'll come around. I know she won't think I'm a monster like I think I am. I just... 
You're not a monster. You just want this to be over? They will be in time. We just have to... Well, you need to stay strong for one. We need to get Bailey back. And we need Maria's help. To fucking end this. But you're not a monster. Don't you dare fucking call yourself that again. Well, you, Pat, you don't even know. I, I've done things since. Everyone has. Everyone has their past. Everyone has their sins. No, you don't. You don't understand. Listen, I need to tell you something. I, I can't. I can't. I can't keep this from you anymore. And I don't care if you hate me after you hear this. Um. Do you remember? Do you remember when I came to your apartment? And I hugged you and I said, it's over. It's over now. And the psychos were gone. Yeah, I do. I, um... I confronted the leader on my own. And I... I told her that this was over. That, um... I told her um, she wasn't going to hurt anyone else that I loved and that if she had just listened to me when her and I talked the first time and if she had worked with me to know the truth and know that I was not involved, none of this would have happened and that I could not let her continue to hurt the people that I love and um I hired someone to put a bullet between her eyes and that person did that right in front of me. And that ended the threat. That cut the head off of the gang and the rest of it fell apart because of that moment. And I, I, I did that. I did that and I did it because I wanted to protect you. I wanted to protect people around me and I said I was done killing and I I couldn't do it myself but I I couldn't let it continue she was never gonna stop she wouldn't listen to reason I tried I tried so fucking hard for her to listen to me and there was no other choice she was gonna just us us and I just I reached out to someone I knew a long time ago and I asked them to just help me with this one thing and then it, that was it I would I, I would stop I would never reach out to them again and I just I had to I had to I had to protect you I had I had to protect everyone and I just I, I, I made a decision and I regret it because I I came here to this country to stop this I didn't want to do this anymore I didn't want anyone else to die because of me and I I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You hired someone to kill another person. Yes. Yes, I did. And I'm sorry. I know you... I know... I know you probably don't like me because of that now, but... They were, they were not going to stop.
You know that I could. He'll never Three come jobs. back. He'll never come back to me. I made sure of it in the person that I know made sure of it. There was no connection. The investigation got closed. It's it's all over with. In fact, those files are probably gone just like the psycho ones were. You're the only person that knows other than I I really wish you didn't tell me about it. No, I I really wish you didn't tell me about it because that's you know I'm dating a, f a deputy chief of police, right? I know, I know, and I'm sorry. I know I'm putting you in. A, I, I've been putting you in an awful position since I knew you. Like I've honestly, I wish you'd never met me. Don't say that. No, it's fucking true. Ever since you met me, I, I, you've gotten hurt. I've hurt you, um, and I just, I continue to, and and. I, I I shouldn't have told you what I just said. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have because I, I, I know. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have because now I'm, I'm I'm dragged into this, and I don't know what to do now. For one, you committed a felony right there, and now I know about it. And if they find out about it, I'm screwed. And you got someone killed. They they won't find out about it. It's not possible at this well, point. Only two people know, and you're one of them. Well, I guess three if wish, you count me. I, I wish you didn't tell me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't know. I, I just, it was kind of in the moment. Just, I, that's I, going I, on. No, I... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off shift. I, I'm sorry. 